Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft, and I'm finally using the baseball products that were part of my April haul. If you didn't see the haul video, definitely go back and watch it. Maybe I'll remember to link it below. I usually forget to link things that I say I'm going to link, so sorry about that. Um, but this was part of my um, April haul, and I'm excited to finally get working with these color plate papers and Echo Park embellishments and Simple Stories embellishments. All right, so the title of this video is Baseball Week because there are actually gonna be three videos this week. Today is my regular Tuesday process video. Tomorrow is gonna be off the board with pineapple papers. And then Friday is going to be the Iron Crafter Challenge. So stay tuned all week for these process videos. And if you like them, I hope that you give them a thumbs up and that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on other process videos. So I have a lot of baseball photos um, and I decided that instead of doing a, um, instead of doing a two pager, which I really need to do, I was going to start the week off easy and do two photos on a single page layout. Um, easy peasy because I knew that these photos would be great together and it kind of um, took a lot of pressure off of trying to figure out how to make the rest of the photos fit on, on a two pager. So I was also inspired by a layout that I had recently done for a paper issues challenge this month in the paper issues friends and fans Facebook group. And it was a, was it a sketch challenge or was it a scrap lift challenge? Now I can't remember. I think it was a sketch. Um, and the first layout that I did, which you'll see next month in my April layout share, stay tuned. Um, the first one I did was pretty close to the original sketch. But for this one, I just decided to kind of take the basic idea of the original sketch. So there were like diagonal strips, di so diagonal lines or paper strips, however you want to interpret that, um, going on behind two photos. Um, and so I decided that I had some paper strips. I'm going to take a branding strip from one of the pattern papers in the collection. There's a paper strip with stars on it that was in the Simple Stories embellishments. And then I just cut another strip from that, um, that cover sheet of the color play paper. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put them behind the photos. I've matted the photos on um, brown cardstock that was just in my stash. I chose brown because there are brown baseball bats on the background sheet of this color play paper. Um, and I'm just gonna do three, very easy, three paper strips going behind the page. And I'm gonna angle them just a little bit because the original sketch that I'm thinking of um, did have the paper strips on a diagonal. And of course, I need to make them all look like they're going extending behind the photos. So some of the shorter ones, I'm just gonna cut in half and you're, I'm just going to use the magic of, um, I, w I wouldn't say editing, the, the, the magic of placing a photo <laughs> over them. And you will, when you look at this, when anyone who doesn't see this process video looks at this layout, they're going to be like, oh, wow, you had full, you know, 12 by 12 pieces of pattern paper. Oh, but I didn't. Ha ha ha. So there are lots of ways that you can, you can trick the mind and you can trick um, the, the look of things on your scrapbook layouts and cutting things in half is one easy way to do it. So obviously the photos are going to go over that blank space. They're going to cover it up just fine. Um, and I just need to get these things lined up and stuck down and I'll cut off the excess. So the photos that I'm using, this is actually a pretty, going to be a pretty short video. Um, again, I, I think last week's was a short video too. So this is one's going to be pretty short, but these photos are from a Cardinals baseball game that we went to last summer in St. Louis. And my daughter got to meet Fred Bird, which was really exciting, especially because we got in line and he was only out for the second inning. And I guess the second inning was really fast because then he had to go and we were still in line. But he did come around very quickly to most of us in the line as he was leaving. And we, got, we did get a quick picture with him. So that was exciting. And then they have a kid's play area. There's one for the little kids and one for the older kids. And in that play area, there's this giant bobblehead of one of the um, players. So she got her picture taken next to the bobblehead as well after we were done playing in the play area. Um, just had to take a sip of water there. So the big baseball is from the Simple Stories Embellishments collection. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here with my big computer in the way. Um... Yeah, but I um, I want to use that baseball as part of the title. 
And I'm just looking for some coordinating alpha stickers that are going to help me finish up the title, which is going to be, I think I do baseball buddies. I don't think I do buddy. I think I do buddies. Um, so I just needed, I wanted to use the larger alphas. That's a simple story alpha sticker book. And I wanted to use the larger blue ones, but I didn't have enough letters to do what I wanted to do. So I'm going to use the medium sized ones. And I'm just popping the baseball word up on some foam dots just to give this a uh, little more, to give this layout a little more dimension. And then the buddies is going to be um, kind of, kind of going underneath. They're almost going to kind of overlap a little bit, or at least that's that's uh, what I'm going for. <laughs> if it really turns out that way in the end, um, I think I think I do a, a decent job of, of getting them under there. Uh, I've used these Simple Stories Alpha stickers many times. I don't love them 100% because they are paper and they tend to like peel up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, as long as you're really careful um, peeling them from the sticker sheet, because they're paper, they are pretty easy to use and fairly repositionable, which is nice if you, like me, sometimes... Um, start making your title and you think you're doing a straight line and then it ends up being a little crooked or you think you have enough room and then it ends up that you don't and now your title's like going off the page and you have to rearrange things. That happens to me a lot. I don't know if that happens to you a lot, but it happens to me, let's be honest. Um, so now I'm just kind of going through and I need that journaling spot because I obviously need a place to put down what these photos are. And I'm taking out some of the other embellishments that I wanna use. There are a bunch of stars in this collection. So I'm basically gonna save most of the larger pieces for um, the two page layout that I'm gonna do. Or, or all the other baseball layouts that I'm going to do. I still have the rest of the photos from this baseball game, as well as photos from a Pittsburgh Pirates game. And then, I mean, we, we do a lot of baseball. We just went to a Yankees game over the weekend. So I am going to have to save these, save the rest, save the leftovers for that layout. Um, so I'm using the stars, the paper stars from the embellishments. And then I'm looking for a couple extra things from these Echo Park chipboard sheet and the sticker sheet. I am putting a little baseball hat up at the top. I'm trying to do um, the rule of threes. So I'm trying to make embellishment clusters of three things. And then once I get that done, I can add a little bit more. I actually did a layout after this one where I started with the rule of threes and then just kept building out with different embellishments. I just went a little bit crazy. I think this one I'm pretty subdued in terms of using the embellishments. And that's okay because there's there's a pattern in the background. There's a pattern on the sheets. I don't wanna take away from that and I want to still be able to see that. And I don't want too many embellishments to cover it up or get covered up themselves amidst the, the background pattern. So sometimes it's okay to not go embellishment crazy, even though that's what I really wanna do. Um, so I've got the three embellishments at the top, one's the chipboard with the hat, one's the flatter star, and then there's a flat baseball glove with a baseball in it sticker. Now down at the bottom, I'm trying to arrange these, these stars, which because they're paper and they're flat, they are really hard to pick up without bending the edges. So just a note, if you also have these baseball embellishments from Simple Stories, and I, th I found that the best way to adhere them and the chipboard is with glue dots. I usually use Zots, but I, I purchased glue dots at Michael's a couple weeks ago because that's all they had, which is fine. They're, the, you know, it's, it's glue dots. I don't think you can really go wrong. But I find that for smaller pieces like those stars, I'm not gonna be able to use an adhesive square, even if I cut it down. Um, so the glue dots are really a lot easier for the chipboard, which needs something sturdy and for smaller embellishments. So I always get the, the mini size of the glue dots instead of the original size, because I find that the mini sizes work a lot better for smaller embellishments and sequins if you're using sequins. So now I'm adding in some of my journaling. I've got my, my stars and a couple other embellishments down at the bottom. Again, kind of grouping things in threes. And that's pretty much going to do it for this layout. It's super simple, super quick. Lots of different ways you could interpret it with the, the pattern paper strips going in the background. Um, you know, you could do even more paper layering behind the photos, but matting the photos. Those two photos are or were four by six. I I don't know if I had to cut them down. Now I can't remember. But you know, you watched the beginning of the video. You saw what I did. But you could cut them down to three and a half by five if you needed to, and then have matting in the background. Lots of different ways you could interpret this layout. So I hope that you guys try your hand at it. And then if you do do it, 
Let me know where I can find your layout. If you're sharing it on social media somewhere or if you have a YouTube channel, let me know down in the comments below. And let me know in the comments who your favorite baseball team is. Mine is obviously the Cardinals because I'm from St. Louis, but uh, I do go to other baseball stadiums and root for other teams while I'm there. So I'd love to know who your favorite baseball team is down below. Or if you just want to say hi, maybe you don't like baseball. Let me know what sport you do like and what sport you do root for. I lied. I'm adding a couple extra embellishments here because I just wanted something else going on at the top. Always have to have a little something else when I'm scrapbooking, but here are the close-ups so that you can see things in more detail and dimension. I hope that this video was inspiring to you and that you come back tomorrow for more baseball fun during my baseball week here on Cook Scrap Craft. I will see you guys next time. Bye.